Trump administration claims it knows the location of every migrant child in custody, but matching those children with their parents, that might be a very different story. Some parents are still in adult-only detention centers being charged with the misdemeanor crime involved with being in the U.S. illegally. Migrant advocacy groups also report issues with the government hotline number where operators may or may not have details about any given child at any given moment. Then there's the finding that children possibly move to shelters in another state. More than 2,000 children, of course, sitting in facilities waiting for this process to play out with no end in sight. CNN's Ed Levandera has been following some of these cases near the border. We care! We care! As protests over the separation of children at the border continue today, there is still no clear reunification process for divided immigrant families. I didn't like the sight or the feeling of families being separated. Since President Trump's executive order last week, the federal government says over 500 children have been reunited with their families. But that leaves more than 2,000 others still in limbo, scattered around the country. There is no plan uh, in place. There's a lot of confusion. Um, there's a lot of contradiction. Under the Trump administration's plan, those children will keep waiting in Health and Human Services custody with unifications only happening once the parents' deportation proceedings are complete. The families will either be reunited before deportation or if the parent is released from detention and after the parent applies to serve as the child's sponsor. The Washington Post spoke with a father who was just deported back to El Salvador without his daughter. He finally spoke with his six-year-old daughter, Maybelline. And we spoke to a mother held in the Port Isabel Detention Center in Texas on Friday. Today, she is still separated from her nine-year-old son. It's a trauma we will never forget, she says. Every one of us, all of the mothers who are here, as well as all of the kids. She hasn't been able to speak to her son or find out in which facility he's being held. One woman told me about her seven-year-old child finally being able to call, and she couldn't actually hear anything because the child was crying so hard. And the only thing the child could say that she could hear was, Mom, um, you don't love me. Why did you leave me? ICE officials are working to set up phone calls between parents and their children today, according to an attorney working with clients inside Port Isabel. They're telling us it's a logistical process, but in reality, I mean, the vast majority of the people we spoke with have not spoken with their children at all. No contact. They don't, they're not even told where their child is. But Senator James Lankford of the Senate Homeland Security Committee insists the Trump administration does know where every single child is located. These are not political appointees. These are career folks. They know where every child is to be able to connect them to their parent or the relative that came. And today at the Tornillo Tent Facility near El Paso, Texas, one of the temporary facilities where children are being held separated from their parents, CNN and other journalists were given a tour off camera. No cameras, no recording devices of any kind on the tour. Once again, only allowing images provided by the Department of Health and Human Services. And Jake, activist with the group called the Texas Civil Rights Project, which has been highly involved in all of this for the last few weeks, say uh, that they have been able to confirm that two children have been deported without their parents. And there's even a, a more sign here as well today, Jake, that uh, the federal government preparing to house even more immigrants. The Secretary of Defense saying earlier today uh, that Fort Bliss in El Paso and Goodfell uh, Air Force Base will also be used to house uh, undocumented immigrants in the coming weeks. Jake. All right. I love Andera. Thank you so much.